Okay, this is gonna be my first uh, non-food review. Uh, see, I got this uh, wrestling ring for about a flea market about a year ago, and uh, as you can see, it's got a steel cage. It's got six sides, kind of like the old school TNA ring, which is now GFW. Uh, but anyways, um. It's got like 12 um, tiny action figures and a bunch of accessories. So uh, let's take a look. Um, see on the center it says uh, King's Superpower. Like, I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, you see on the side it says Smack and Super Force Top Speed and. But let's take a look at the action figures that it comes with. Let's take a look at this one first. See, this is clearly Shawn Michaels. Um, I think it's based off his attire at WrestleMania 23, which is a great WrestleMania match. He can place him on the top, uh, have him do like a diving elbow drop or something into the cell. Let's take a look at this one. Um, I think this is meant to be the Undertaker, uh, but he doesn't have his goatee, so maybe it's Ministry Undertaker. You can have him turn around and do that thing he does after he wins a match at WrestleMania. Uh, let's have him do that. This is clearly John Cena. He has the denim shorts, the white sneakers, the... His hair's a bit lopsided, though. Um, let's have him pitting uh, Shawn Michaels like he did at WrestleMania 23. And this is clearly Rey Mysterio. See, Rey Mysterio... He's got a little paint on his face that's falling off from the mask. Can have him hanging on the edge of the of the cage, about to do a dive. This one I think is Kane, but Kane never wore purple, so yeah could have him right next to his brother, The Undertaker. This one is most likely Triple H, but Triple H never really wore blue, or blue boots for that matter. So it could be a overly muscular Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, um... These two are definitely the Hardy Boys. You got Matt and Jeff. Although, although Jeff, uh, Matt's is very, very accurate with the green pants. Though he never wore the armbands like Jeff did. Uh, but Jeff's, Jeff never wore red and white. Um, this is very inaccurate have them let's have them right near the ladder oh knock down triple H let's have him next to this guy who kind of a cross between Randy Orton and Batista he's built his hair looks like Randy Orton's but he's got the build of Batista and also Batista wore the exact color, these exact color shorts in WrestleMania 21 when he pinned Triple H. Then you got Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, this is definitely Mr. Kennedy or Mr. Anderson if you're a TNA fan. Then you got this guy. Um, I think it's Finley. Uh, let me see something. S you can see 
think he's got some silver stuff. And finally, the Grey Collie. Yeah, the Grey Collie. Um, he's also got some silver stuff running off his eyes. But on to the accessories. Let's take a look. Got a breakaway table. You can slam them through the table. But it breaks way too easily. You got a trash can. Got a steel chair. You got this TV. Um, you got a shopping cart, which I currently don't have a big one of these. You got a, a guardrail. You got a microphone. Two barbed bar wire bats. A micro, two microphones. Uh, two sledgehammers, one silver and one red, two fire extinguishers, a briefcase, a, a ladder, stretcher, and a world title belt, which you can give to John Cena after he beats um, uh, um, Shawn Michaels. Let's give him the title belt. Sorry, um, see, you give him the tile belt. Yeah, I know you're supposed to wrap it around. It even has a thing where you can wrap it around, but it's hard to do it when you have one hand. So, all in all, this oh, there's a steel steps, and the, the door opens so you can. And the closes, and oh, this is a pretty cool thing and a pretty cool playset, and I give it a four out of five. Anyways, um, if you want to see more of these videos, then hit it, hit this video with a thumbs up. If you want me to just go back to doing food reviews, uh. Hit it with a thumbs down. Um, if you don't really care, then just leave a comment and just um, leave a comment down below on what I should do next. Uh, anyways, either way, subscribe to me, the Junk Punk, Matty G. You'll be glad you did.